Mark's just done his Joe Wicks. Isn't he good on New Year's Eve? And I am just saying a potential goodbye to the house as we know it. God only knows what's going to happen. <laughs> Maddie just said to me, Mum, good luck for tonight. <laughs> What? I feel really sorry for like 15, 16 year olds. There's nowhere to go, is there? There's nothing to do on New Year's Eve. And of course they want to put, it's the best time to party at our age. You don't want to party, do you? And I just think, well, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> we haven't got carpets, which is a blessing. And the carpet on the stairs is absolutely ancient. Um, we've blocked off the side there. We're gonna block off Mark's room. So all they've got access to is here and the hall. Got two little seats there in the hall. And that's all they've got. So they've got the loo, they've got the hall. We're gonna block that off. We're gonna move that across there so nobody can go into Mark's room. And they've got this and I've taken everything off the side. We've taken everything off the walls. Um, yeah. So, it's just a pray for us moment. Oh. So, Matt, how just are you feeling? Thing. I'm very nervous about tonight, very nervous. First of all, it's just going to be hell. 50 to 60. 16 yards. Fucking hell. And I'm on standby to go down if and, there's any and trouble. And it's that terrible thing where everyone keeps saying, are you mad? It's an old thing, are we mad? Are we but mad? But I wouldn't reverse it. You'll not be saying oh. that tomorrow when the extensions come away from the I house. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing for me that could happen is that Kiki has a really bad time. Worst thing for me is that Kiki's on the wall. Right, okay. I'm now moving. Nads, Nads, no, come back, come back from it. Don't put that in. <laughs> Earlier, I just, I stepped on one of your teeth whilst doing a workout. Yeah. We can hang out together. What's the matter with you? Okay. We always talk and we always hang out together. I know, but we're self-enforced isolation. <laughs> There's enough dancing room. They're, they're the skittles, they're the soft skittles. They're like soft shell crab. Mm, nice. Do you remember Tutti Fruities? Mm, yeah, I like Tutti Fruities. I've got oh, if I, if I start, we'll stop. After five hours <laughs> yeah, after five hours. Of... <laughs> Looks nice though. Look, she's still there. Wow, all evidence of Christmas is in the loft. That was relatively pain-free, wasn't it? Still, the trees look nice, look at it from here. Right, Gigi. <laughs> but of course, just for you guys, I'm still editing the last leftovers. of love for the night. Nance is about to have a bath. We've blocked the stairs. But it doesn't guarantee anything. A persistent 15 year old teenage boy can easily hurdle even there, even though it worked there. But what I have popped down there is some seriously barbed wire. Anyway, so you can probably hear the music is starting down there. This is the prelude, this is that moment before the party gets going. So the music has only just started and it's already too loud. Of course we won't say anything, she can have it as loud as she likes, but oh my God, because I've had a headache all day. Mark's just editing. The last leftovers. That's leftovers. Mark blocked off the side, the other side of the house, where with the fridge that had my wine in it. So we've got no snacks, we've got no wine. We've got some sushi over there in a bag. And that's our New Year's Eve. And there's only a couple of people here so far and it's already so loud. <laughs> they haven't even got going. We, I just worked it out, we've got four and a half hours left to go. I've just finished editing the last leftovers nads. And I've been roaring. You're right, you look like a corpse. So Nadia's idea of romantic foreplay chat was... Where is their foreplay? We've got, we've got 17 teenagers downstairs. I know, but we've got Stop like... trying to imagine this is a romantic night away. It's not. Well, we've got an assault course on the stairs. They won't be able to get up. 
Anyway, her attempt at kind of scintillating conversation was, have you seen that Rishi Sunak has finally agreed, agreed due to the COVID spike in China to test or, or make sure that all Chinese visitors are negative? I mean, that's hardly, is that where we're starting at tonight? Yes, sir. What are you doing? I'm just doing some happy new years early. <laughs> Chi Chi in her bone. What do you mean I'm naive? I'm I'm trying to say that yes, they'll bring alcohol, as all teenagers do, but they can't fit that much into their backpacks. What do you think? Do you remember what it's like to be 15, 16? Yeah. Yeah. I know what I was like at parties at 14. What were you like? Let's say I wasn't sipping on orange juice or Diet Cokes. And the girls, when they were around yesterday, my friends, they were all saying the other day, why are we just at that age of parties? Oh my God, I just don't think. So be prepared. Toffee. You can't be doing that in here. Very, very tight in here. Chi Chi's there. You're there. Prosecco, even don't you want any alcohol? Grand What's the point of having any alcohol? Anyway? No point. Fucking hell, it's <laughs> fucking great company tonight. I'm trapped in here for another four hours with her and Toffee <laughs> fucking growling and Chi Chi <laughs> panting. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, best news even in your life, baby. Yeah, brilliant. God, I need a drink. Bit of Michael Jackson going on. Is it Michael Jackson? Yeah. Boys ask if they can come upstairs. The oh, the girls are always in the toilet doing their lippy. Like oh, bloody hell. Why do women just keep doing their makeup all night? Don't Why don't they just do it before they go out? I put it on once and then that's it. I don't look at it again. Three hours, 43 minutes to go, lads. <laughs> oh, God help us. It's just getting a little bit louder and it's a lot more people and here. I'm hungry and we've got just sushi. You're hungry, you've got, you've got a headache. Crisp or cake or chocolate, but news flash, still conversation hasn't really got going in here. Can you hear that? Will they hear that? Who? Hey. The subs. Of course they will. Screaming and greeting and joyfulness mm. and happiness. And all I can do is see it all on the ring phone when the door's open, just thinking, for fuck's sake, shut the door. <sighs> I've oh. got such a headache. Not because of them, but it's just the worst night to have a headache and the racket is unbelievable. Oh, God. I don't even think can the party's you, got started yet. It hasn't yet. even properly got started yet, but they're just screaming with joy as they as each one comes through the door. Oh. Got three hours... And I'm really, really, I'm sure I'm so hungry because I can't have anything. Oh, oh I'd love a cup of tea. Love cup I'd of love tea. a chocolate bar. Two hours, 50 minutes. Is that how long's left? Yeah. Two hours, 50? Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah, no, but the last 10 minutes has taken an hour. <laughs> and it sounds like someone's We're coming up the stairs in our every six minutes. On New Year's Eve. <laughs> you know. The dogs are being so good, bless them. Our lovely George, in the midst of the madness down there, came up to check if we wanted anything. <laughs> Did you ever want chocolate? 
we've got some red balls. We were kind though. We said we'll only have the things that no one else is wanting to eat, not wanting to I'm eat. I'm sure to throw out some, um, what were they, what are they called when they break in? What? Great crashes. What? She dealt with great crashes. Great crashes. Gate crashes. Gate crashes. And now we're watching, what is it we're watching? Woodruff, what, what? Timber Creek Lodge. Timber Creek Lodge, which is like below deck in a forest. Listen to that, can you hear this racket? Headache ever. But hey, Dean, I'm really glad Palmer's beautiful. <laughs> Look where I am. You hear it? <laughs> Happy New Year! Oh. So I've had a very really stressful time. Mark is now outside, sat in the drive in his car because there were potential <laughs> massive <laughs> group of gate crashers. But I can hear all the kids singing now. And so they're happy. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's taken a turn for the worse. So I'm literally sat in the car and it's midnight now. So I'm going to quickly talk and then I'm going to call Nads because she's upstairs and I've had to stop because word gets round in parts of London. And so I've literally just had to evict or get rid of approximately 45 kids, all very sweet all pouring down the road and thinking they could come in. And so I've basically become a security man, a doorman. Uh, I just let three people in because they're connected to some. I mean, I never thought I'd do this. I was always the one that was barred in Soho. And the hilarious thing is, all I keep getting is, I've just had films from Dina of the uh, fireworks in Parma. I've had films from uh, Kaz dancing in Soho House in Brighton. I've had films from Lee at his cocktail party. Meanwhile... Happy New Year! <laughs> so that was Mark ringing me from the car in the drive because he's parked in the drive in case any other gate crashes come to wish me a Happy New Year. And he went, right, it's 12 o'clock now, isn't it? So the party's finished. I went, well, it might not be exactly at 12 o'clock. Well, I'm the one stuck out in the drive. And I'm like, we're one minute into the new year and we're having an argument in the first minute. Nothing changes. We used to sing to this on New Year's. Oh, it's the Wonder Wall. This makes me happy because they're all really high now. They're all like singing, they're all like, yeah, it's fireworks going off. So now it's just getting them all out of here and getting them home, Jesus Christ. thought they'd turn the music off they've just turned it back on i feel so bad but it's like 20 past 12 now and it's just all kicking off and they're gelling together and they're singing and they're dancing but they've got to go i've got to go and do that thing of putting the lights on and saying that's it come on boys and girls you've had your fun i never wanted to be that person having such a good time Singing to Valerie. <laughs> this is the best time of the party, it's always at the end. But Master was sat outside in the car. We have to go and close it down. For some me.
this is definitely love for your kids. <clears throat> it's now 12.30 and I'm watching very sweet teenagers as they leave, saying thanks, wishing happy birthday. Very different to some of the kids that have tried to get in. Um, but yeah, anyway, I wanted Kiki to be happy. How can I tell them to turn it all off? It feels so mean. Oh, Tuffy's totally given up. She's just crashed. Oh, I love this one. So the drama of that is over, but Kiki is still with a few friends over there. Hang on, I'm just going to turn you around and show you what Nad's doing. New Year's I've spent in the drive as a bouncer, and Nad is now doing this. Ah! You, right? you right there, Nad? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. I've been a bouncer, you're being a cleaner. Yeah. Hey. And they said they were going to do this in the morning, but it's so marked. I think if we leave it overnight, we'll never get it clean. I'm slightly worried my name's marked. But I have to say, I have to say, the majority of the answers as they left were absolutely delightful. All of them, just so sweet, so kind, and so polite. It was just the marauding mob that was coming down our street that was a bit of a worry. Well, yeah, yeah, but 45 of them? Well, it's getting bigger every minute. Yeah, no, it's 50, actually. So, it's three o'clock in the morning. We've just washed all the floors. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> 35 kids all running at me. <laughs> 70. Pulling the car across the drive. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. It was all a oh no, it was real. It was all real. Fucking hell. Isn't that good? Isn't there something there? You get a bit of argy bargy with just a 15, 16 year old. You just don't know if they're going to pull a knife or anything. Exactly. You just don't know. Exactly. It's anyway, astonishing. The I don't even want to tell you. The majority of them all were lovely. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's three o'clock in the morning. I've just been watching a sh washing a shower room that right. looked like somebody had had a shower with their shoes on. That's really odd. Someone stuck <laughs> chewing gum onto a record of mine. But really, it's chicken feed. Most of them were absolutely lovely, weren't they? And I've just had a really nice chat with them when they're sitting eating biscuits downstairs. So yes, I think that single chair might be a good idea. Yes, I'm going to my granddad is really weird. I've got no idea. Yes, I'll make sure there's no shit there. Yes, 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 yes. We've got two chairs by Lisa that you can't, can't fucking use. One of the peel bits has come off. <laughs> I just whispered to them he's got no idea I'm filming him. <laughs> That's not a banana, it's supposed to be a penis. It's not a penis. Dressed as a banana. That's the joke of it. Well, the penis has lost Show it. the subset. Okay, without wishing to resurrect an old fucking topic. The penis has lost its foreskin. <laughs> no, don't do that one, Don. I haven't, I haven't done the um, the wires. What do you want me to do? Nothing. It was just, it was just funny filming you while you were nattering away to yourself. What that? <laughs> Show the subs. This made me really laugh, but Mark didn't seem to like it, and it's great when it's lit up. <laughs> Everyone has said that. Every woman has said that. <laughs> And you broke it. That was really expensive. Oh my God. That's by an artist, you know. Well, and Summers. Mark, put it back. I bought you that as a present. You've just Babe, broken I can't it. Reach. It's a plot, Mark. <laughs> so, having filmed me with my penis. <sighs> this is the morning after. This is the morning after the party. Mark's done a quick walk around the garden. Oh, did a tour of duty. I found three teenagers out there. <laughs> <laughs> Woke them up. 
So Nadia has picked today where we have effectively, due to lack of sleep, got a hangover. Well, I've got a full on hangover, not had a drop. She's decided that we should re reconfigure our feng shui. Because this room is a total waste of space, this end. Nothing ever happens this end. So we're going to move all the sofas around. I do my workout, Danny. Eh? This is your workout down here. No, no, I know. I'm just... So we're going to put the big sofa where? Well, we're going to Back buy a where... new sofa. We're going on eBay. We're going to buy a new sofa. But we're putting the sofa. sofa. I think buying a brand new sofa is like buying a brand new car. As soon as you pulled it out the showroom, it's less value. Right. So this sofa's going where? So there. this sofa's going to go there. there. We've had this no, 20 there. years. This, this is going to go here. Which is quite a good idea. That's going to stay there. And the other that sofa is going to go, gonna go back. And that is going to go over there and become a reading corner. And then it frees up the radiator because at the moment all the heat from that radiator, we've got the drafts coming in from the window and then we've got the heat going into the back of that sofa. We just, need, we just need to, to put some draft excluder around the window. Wow, this is what So I've just disatta unattached that from the bottom there. Remember, right, subs. Wet mark, where are you going to put it? In the same place that we put the last one. But will you remember which tree it's for? You look possessed. Mark, I think we should put all these things into the bag with that tree. What bag? The bag that Dina made it's us. It's not going to fit. Mark, even if we put some of the tree in it with the lights, we'll know which one it belongs no, to. This no, Mark. This, is a, this isn't light. This is a plug for the bottom of a tree. Right. See you next Christmas. Ah, there's my birthday card. Mistletoe. Isn't that sweet, Hi, Maddie? Curiously, someone at the party brought grapes because they're Spanish and apparently you need to eat 12 grapes. Look at that, mistletoe. in there <laughs> okay so what are you gonna promise me if I let you out mark something else mark right now stop it the kids will hear you promise me something and I'll let you out Oh God, all right. <laughs> have you shown them what they did? We can't work out what happened. They must have got stuck and then somebody's kicked it off. Well, That's the only thing. I just think they desperately tried to, desperately turn, tried it. to turn it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sort of frenzied at the <laughs> 